Versatility is the name of the game when it comes to anything you're gonna to add to your garage gym. And especially applies to barbells. There's a lot of different specialty bars out there, but a safety squat bar, although nice, if it can only be used for one movement, it's not as good as something that can be used for many. And the bar I'm gonna talk about today is a versatile piece of equipment. This is the Kabuki Strength Trap Bar. It's one of the most hyped up specialty bars I've seen in quite a while, and it could be one of the best specialty bars ever created. Let's find out. The Kabuki Strength Trap Bar is, as the name suggests, a trap slash hex bar that utilizes some unique features to make it more versatile and enjoyable to use. Although the trap bar is still unknown by many general trainees at the local Globo Gym, for the most part, just about everyone that's serious about their training will have used a trap bar in some manner. Despite the somewhat pretentious trap bar name, a trap bar is really designed to be used for heavy lifting in the deadlift. Many of the top strength coaches and athletes in the world use and recommend the trap bar deadlift as the ultimate lower body exercise. For instance, Ryan Flaherty, Senior Director of Performance at Nike, had this to say on the Tim Ferriss Show about the almighty trap bar deadlift. So when I started testing the same athletes with the hex bar deadlift or the trap bar deadlift max in their body weight, it actually directly correlated to the force plate treadmill study um, at their max velocity and top speed. And so I realized quickly, okay, if this is the order in which they ran their 100 meter dash time in by their hex bar deadlift max and body weight, and I improve their hex bar deadlift max without increasing body weight, would I see the same improvement in their speed? And over you know, the past seven years of testing that, I have. Even the US military, the largest and in many respects, the most advanced military institution in the entire world has adopted the trap bar deadlift as one portion of the new Army Combat Fitness Test to determine how fit for battle its members are. The trap bar and associated movements are without a doubt one of the best overall exercise one can do. However, up until open-ended trap bars like the bar we're reviewing today, the Kabuki Strength Trap Bar, they were limited in their use. We'll go into this in more detail about what separates the Kabuki Strength Trap Bar from previous iterations of the bar, but what separates it in reality is its open-ended design that allows for more movements to be performed. Interchangeable handles, upright storage ability, and barbell jack ends that allow weights to be easily interchanged. This isn't the first bar to have some of these features, see the Aleiko Open Deadlift Bar, but as we'll discuss, it may be the best. In short, the Kabuki Strength Trap Bar is likely the best trap bar on the market. First, it features a somewhat revolutionary design, although there's soon to be many other competitors, and there's already one doing it at a high level. The open end design is the future of trap bars and will likely be found somewhere in just about every equipment manufacturer's lineup that is currently making and selling barbells. An open end design simply makes more sense than one that's closed. Although the majority of users, especially garage gym owners, could get by just fine for their entire lives with a more traditional closed end hex bar. In my opinion, if you're gonna buy a new one and want the best, there's little reason to shy away from an open ended design. After using multiple open ended trap bars, though through various movements, including the Kabuki Strength Trap Bar, I see few compromises, but many benefits. The Kabuki Strength Trap Bar utilizes a bit of a unique frame geometry by employing square tubing that's been bent at the corners to make a somewhat seamless frame. Aleiko, with their latest open deadlift bar, uses large round tubing that has been bent in a similar design. Rogue's TB2 Trap Bar, our previously most recommended trap bar, features a similar style of square tubing as the Kabuki Strength Trap Bar, but instead of being bent, it's chopped and welded together with extra braces for increased rigidity. Although we really like round tubing as it feels better on the back when using the bar for cambered bar squats, the square tubing on the Kabuki Strength Trap Bar looks and performs extremely well. The square tubing also lends itself to having incredible rigidity as shown by its max bar capacity of nearly 1,200 pounds, which is similar to even the strongest closed-in trap bars. On each end of the Kabuki Strength Trap Bars are angled legs that feature grooves for tread that allows the bar to be easily stood up. This creates a barbell jack type movement that's built in and is beginning to become standard on all new trap bars coming to market. Honestly, after using the barbell jack on these new trap bars, it makes you think, why didn't I come up with that? It's that simple and great of an idea. The bar jack on the Kabuki Strength Trap Bar has feet that are similar to those on the Genesis deadlift jack that we reviewed pre previously, but are nearly a one inch thick and rock into position easily. The other feature of the Kabuki Strength Trap Bar 
is that it separates from pretty much every other trap bar currently available is the swappable grips. There are two positions for grips on the trap bar, one set of low handles that's a half inch above alignment with the bar sleeves, and one that is set at two, a few inches above that. Both of these positions have the ability for any of the three grips Kabuki makes to be inserted. Currently, there's a one inch, a one and a half inch handle that it's included with every trap bar, and also an optional two inch handle called the love handle that can be set to be fixed or rolling. The handles are knurled in what appears to be the same knurling pattern as the upgrade pick on our best powerlifting barbell guide, the Kabuki Strength New Gen Power Bar. In other words, the knurling on the Kabuki Strength Trap Bar is the same as one of the best power bars in the entire world. This is yet another piece of the puzzle that separates the bar from others on the market. The knurling used on many other specialty bars has largely been an afterthought. Now, however, as consumers begin to wake up to an understanding that good knurling should be available for all implements in which extra grip is needed, companies are starting to answer. Stay woke, people. The handles work as well as one would want on a trap bar, and the two-inch love handles with the rotating feature are seriously awesome for taxing the grip during deadlifts or even shrugs. Although the open-end design and bar jack are great features, the attention to detail on the handles are my favorite part of the bar. It's the little things done extremely well that lead to a great product. As previously mentioned, the Kabuki Trap Bar shifts the low handles a half inch above alignment with the barbell sleeves. This is unconventional, but done for a pre pretty ingenious reason that could only have been thought of by a thousand pound plus deadlifter in Chris Duffin. The handles being just a bit higher than parallel makes it easier to balance the bar. Although we didn't see it like being noticeably different, I didn't experience as many issues balancing the bar as I have with cheaper trap bars in the past, and I kind of like it. The last area of focus on the trap bar that we like is the machine sleeves. By now, machine sleeves should be the standard on every bar claiming to be one of the best. With machined Olympic sleeve, there's no need to buy spare axle collars or for the weight to constantly be jarring against the sleeve due to too much space between the sleeve and plate hub. The 16 and a half loadable area of the sleeve allows for you to add as much iron as you'd like or even get heavy with bumper plates. On the end of the sleeve is a simple and classy etched metal end cap that's in line with Kabuki's other bars. It's a beautiful thing. We use the Kabuki trap bar for everything from heavy deadlifts to camber bar squats to lunges and presses, and it's impeccable. There are a couple things that we'd like to see change though. First off, and these aren't necessarily like big changes, but these are minor things that we saw that could be improved. One of them was the feet because they have this grooves in the bottom and they're metal. When they drive into the platform, there's possibility that they could end up messing up the wooden platform. This is minor again, but it's something that could happen. Also, the entire unit is powder coated. The sleeves are powder coated, which means as you put on weight, metal against metal causes the sleeves to scar, mar, and end up getting chipped eventually. This is something that we'd like to see changed. However, for the cost, we can understand why. And then the last thing is the bar isn't technically rackable. This is by far the biggest downside of the bar. For instance, the Aleco Open Deadlift Bar, it's rackable. Although we found that you could rack the bar using like straps, safety straps or safety bars, it doesn't fit in J cups. So if you wanna use this for pressing or you wanna use it for camber bar squats, you've gotta put it on some sort of safety bar or strap in order to get it out instead of standard J cups. This was a minor thing, a minor change that could make, but you know, this is one of the big things that separates it from the Aleco Open Deadlift Bar. So summarizing everything, this is one of the best, if not the best trap bars available. It's pretty pricey, so you, know, you have to decide, do I wanna spend all my money or a lot of money on a single trap bar? Sure, it can do quite a bit. Um, you know, something to think about, something to be aware of when you decide to buy it. That said, if you do buy it, you're gonna be happy with it. This bar is incredible. But this has been Coop from GarageNumReviews.com. So let me know what you think of the bar in the comments below. Is it something you would buy? Is it a little bit too expensive for you? Does it not have the versatility? Do you not like that it doesn't rack? I totally get those things. But let me know in the comments below. Also make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time. Peace.